Hello everyone, I am Deborah. Welcome to another Where Are They Now? Thank you guys so much for joining me. Alice Frenham appeared on the stages of Britain's Got Talent in 2013. This woman was a little shy, somewhat timid, and I think somewhat unsure of that voice that she had and didn't really believe okay, that she should be there. But at the same time, that voice inside of her told her that she still needed to try. So again, she... Uh, got the confidence to appear in that talent competition. She went on that stage and you guys, this is the result. As you guys can see, she got a standing ovation from the crowd as well as the judges. That was one of those performances that was jazzy and sultry and it just pulled you in and mesmerized you. And you guys, she went on to win that competition. And you can see the reason why. So let's advance forward about four, maybe five years and take a listen at what Alice did after her win. There's a saying, oh, says that love is blind. Still we're often told, seek and ye shall find. So I'm going to seek a certain lad I've had in mind Looking everywhere, haven't found him yet He's the big affair, I cannot forget Only man I ever think of 
You know, you guys, Alice, just listening to her here, she has, to me, one of those vinyl voices. For those of you watching that are old enough to know what vinyl is, <laughs> I don't think we see it anymore, but back in the day, you know, when you had all the songs on the vinyl and you put it on your record player and you take the little needle and you put it in the exact, the, the right spot, the song that you wanted to hear and you kick back and, you know, you sit back and just get lost in it all. And that's what her voice reminds me of. It reminds me of a throwback from the past when all the music we heard was on vinyl, you guys. And, you know, looking at her when she first appeared on Britain's Got Talent, you, again, she was a little timid, a little shy, maybe unsure of herself and she needed the confidence. And, you know, and, and that's what she needed. She needed someone to believe in her. And ultimately, Alice needed to believe in Alice. And when she did, Magic happened, and she ended up winning that competition. So she didn't realize realize it at the time, but those doors were open, and she just needed the confidence to walk through them. And on that fateful day, she did exactly that. So bravo. I hope that we continue to hear that beautiful voice of hers in the future. Don't know where she is right now, because I think this was about four years ago, and I don't know if she's done anything recent, but I hope that she continues to use that beautiful voice of hers. So you guys, if you enjoy this just as much as I did, do remember to give it a like, a share, a thumbs up, and please do subscribe. I and I appreciate if you would do the same exactly here. Thank you guys for joining me for our walk down memory lane, and I will be bringing you lots of more of this. I am really enjoying uh, going back and seeing where they started, okay, and then seeing where they are now. And if you have any suggestions, please do leave them in the comments below. And until then, you guys, remember it is a great day and you continue to make it your own kind of special. So until we meet again, keep growing, keep thriving, keep pushing those boundaries. And I'll see you guys real soon on my next I've Got Something to Say. Thank you guys and I'll see you soon.